Kansas City, the Royals taking on the Mets. Both team starters being introduced before the game. The Dark Knight, Matt Harvey on the mound for New York in this one, going up against Edinson Volquez. A very difficult day for Volquez. His father passed away earlier in the day on Tuesday. Pick up the game in the first inning, no score. Volquez pitching well, facing Daniel Murphy. Swing and a miss, got it with an off-speed hit. And down go the Mets in the top half of the first. You've been watching the Royals like we have. Be ready, he's swinging. It is Escobar, and he swings and hits it into left center. Back at the track, it is dropped. Cespedes couldn't make the catch. How about that effort? Digging around third. Here comes Escobar. One nothing Kansas City. An inside the park home run for Alcides Escobar to start the World Series. One out in the inning. Royals looking for the double play ball. The Mets looking for something to tie it. Or even bigger from Darno. That is a fair ball tie game. RBI base hit by Travis Darno. And it's 1-1 here in the fourth. Do we know, by the way, via Twitter, has Fox lost their entire feed? We still don't have access to video, and, and, and we assume neither does Terry Collins, neither does Ned Yost. And that's why we continue to delay. It's a weird delay. This might be the first TV delay in World Series play. Volquez picks off the sign from Perez. 1-2 to Granderson. Is belted to deep right field. Back goes Rios in front of the wall. And gone. Curtis Granderson pulled it down the line. Just got it over the railing and kept it fair. And the Mets have grabbed the 2-1 to lead. Well, here come the Royals down 3-1. Bottom of the sixth inning. And have runners at first and third with nobody out for Hosmer. And Harvey's pitch. Hosmer swings. It's a fly ball into center field. Lagaris gets behind it. Zobras tags. The catch is made. The throw to the plate is cut off. Hosmer drives in Zobras, and it is 3-2. And now Mike Moustakis. He has flied to left, and he is lined to the warning track in right field. Swung on. Line drive, center field. Moustakis drives in Kane. We are tied at three. Crowd standing, waving white towels. Right side, and it gets through. Here comes Lagares, and the Mets take the lead. Hosmer could not make the play, and the Mets lead at 4-3 here in the eighth. Familia back to work. He got out of the eighth inning. Here's Alex Gordon, 0 for 2 of the walk. Gordon in the air to center. Back at the wall. This game is tied. Place is pulsating at the moment. Alex Gordon to dead center field. The game is tied 4 4. Now here we are in the 11th. Runners first and second for the Mets. At the moment, it is Madsen and Wright. Ryan Madsen's pitch. Swing and a miss. Knock him out. Madsen wins that battle. Jonathan Neese was impressive in the 10th. Here he is in the 11th, trying to send it to the 12th. Here's Dyson with a fly ball into right. Granderson's got it. What a catch by Curtis Granderson to rob Dyson in his first at bat of extra bases. One loud out. Bases loaded, two out. Gerard Dyson, biggest at bat in his life right here. And that man barring an error is Colon. Lagares. Side retired. Bartolo Colon, ever so calmly, strolls back towards the dugout. And it's the top of the order for the Royals, and that means the red hot Escobar. The 0 2. Now to third. Wright has to hurry. He pulls him off the bag. Leadoff man is on for Kansas City. And Colon's pitch. Swing and a line drive, base hit right field. Escobar makes the turn at second. He will go to third. 
Zobris comes up with his third hit, and there are runners at the corners with nobody out. They're going to walk Kane. Load him up. The first guy on the spot will be Hosmer. Number one in Royals postseason history with his 24 RBIs. Into right. Granderson back. Escobar tags. Here comes Escobar. The Royals win game one. Hosmer drives home. The winner in the 14th. An absolute classic marathon game. The Royals win at 5-4 in 14 innings. It takes five hours and nine minutes to play. The 14 innings ties for the longest World Series game ever played. The KC bullpen goes eight innings, allowing just one unearned run. Chris Young tosses three scoreless frames, picking up the win. Game two, Wednesday night at KC, Johnny Cueto up against Jacob DeGrom. And now for more on Hosmer and his redemption in the 14th inning for his error earlier, we send it to Tim McMaster and Jeff Nelson at Kauffman Stadium. What an amazing finish to game number one of the World Series, and for Eric Hosmer, really goes from goat to hero. Well, you, you got to love it. And, and you could see his emotions when Alex Gordon hit that home run to tie the game. He was like all over him, probably the happiest guy besides the Royals fans. You know, he probably should have gotten in front of that ball. This guy's a gold glove winner in 2013 and 14, and maybe probably in 15. Outstanding first baseman, so it's a little unusual for him to make a play like that and get an error and have the winning run or actually the go-ahead run for the Mets. And then he makes up for it. You know, base is loaded. He just looked for a pitch up in the zone that he could drive to the outfield. You love that kind of effect because you don't want anybody to feel the goat. You don't want anybody to feel the pressure of this is the reason why you lose the game. You know, it turned it around, and, and what a great feeling and good for, good for Eric Hosmer.